Hey, welcome back everyone. This is Ian and in this video we're going to add on to the chatbot that we started writing in the previous video. So if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check it out now. But just to catch you up to speed, essentially in that video what we did is we first wrote a system prompt and then we wrote a chat interface and then we asked our chatbot a question. Then we realized, well, we want to be able to ask it multiple questions in a continued conversation and have it remember information about our previous questions. So we added some short term memory by keeping track of all of our messages and using a for loop to do that. And ultimately what we ended up with was a chatbot that had logging enabled because we had piped the logs through to the prompt layer dashboard where we could go back and evaluate our prompts and kind of see what works and what doesn't. So that's kind of where we are now. However, we want to make it even better. And one area where our chatbot kind of falters a little bit is that it doesn't have any information about today's date and it doesn't have any information about our location. So for example, if we were to run this right now and we say Python app.py, and then we say something like, what's the current season? It's gonna come back and it's gonna say, I don't have real time information, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we want to fix that. And the way that we're gonna do that is we're going to update our prompt over in prompt layer the one that we're bringing into our code here and utilizing for our chatbot. And then we're going to update our code with that information to be able to inject it into the prompt via input variables. So let me show you how to do that. We'll go ahead and clear out that, head over to prompt layer. And I'm already inside of my registry, but if you go to promptlayer.com and you're logged in, go up to the top and click on registry. And then you'll see the prompt that you wanna select, in this case, my chat GPT. And here you can see your system prompt, any versions that you created, and you can see we have one single user prompt. Now let's go ahead and edit with the edit button in the top right corner. And over here with our system prompt, maybe right underneath the uh, please be as helpful as possible part, let's say something like today's date is, and then inside of curly brackets, we'll just put an input variable, date. And then we'll say something like the user is in, and then again, inside curly brackets, we'll say location. So now we have two additional input variables. The other one is over here, it's our question, and we have our date, and we have our location. If you look at the bottom here, you can see that it automatically identified them as input variables because they're inside of that F string curly bracket syntax. Now, of course, we do have to update our template. So in the bottom right corner here, let's click on update template. It's gonna ask us if we wanna commit message, you're welcome to put one here. I'm just gonna click next and let it use the default and then confirm without checking that option about running evaluations. So now we have our latest version, version three in my case, and it's gonna show us information that we just added. So today's date is date, the user is in location. Let's head back over to our code and get our code updated so that it can actually inject some dynamic values into our template that we're gonna use for our chatbot. Cool, here we are back in our code. And up here at the top where we're doing all of our imports, let's go ahead and bring in the date time library from Python so that we can use that to create our today date variable. So we're just gonna import date time. You don't have to install anything. This comes with Python. And then we'll go ahead and create a variable called today underscore date and set that equal to date time. And then we'll use date time from within date time. I know that's kind of confusing, but uh, can explain that in a separate video and then dot now. So this is gonna give us the timestamp for right now or whenever this code gets run. Now we do wanna format that so it doesn't look all crazy. So we're gonna use string f time on here and inside of parentheses, we'll use double quotes and we will use percent capital Y hyphen percent lowercase m hyphen percent d. That'll give us our year, month, day in the typical format that you see Okay, great, so then on the next line, let's go ahead and create another variable for location. Now this is much easier, we're just gonna use a string here and you just set it to whatever your location is. So in my case, it'll be Texas. Uh, you could put it to whatever your city, state, country, doesn't matter. All right, cool, so we have our today date and our location variable. And now if we go down to where we bring in my ChatGPT, our template from our prompt later client, we're going to add those variables to the input variables dictionary here. So I'll put a comma after the user input for that question input variable, which is our original input variable that we had for our user role. And then now we're going to add the date and we're gonna set that equal to today underscore date. And then underneath that, we're gonna have our location 
And that one is actually just going to be our location variable. Put a comma here and save. And that's it for the coding portion of this video. Now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna test this out and see how well it works. So here we are in our terminal. We're gonna run python app.py. Of course, make sure that you have your virtual environment activated. And it says, hey, welcome to my chat GPT. How can I help? So we wanna test a couple of things. We wanna test the previous functionality, which was the ability to have short-term memory and remember who we were and things about our conversation. And then we're gonna ask it some information about our location, which we just added in and today's date. So let's go ahead and get to it. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is say, hi, my name is Ian. And it's gonna come back and say, hello Ian, how can I assist you today? Great, I'm gonna say, what? season am I currently in? It says I'm currently in the summer season. So that's two things that are happening at once. It knows the date and it's able to determine the season based on not just the date, but also my location because I'm in the Northern hemisphere. So let's say, where am I located? You're located in Texas. Awesome. So the last thing we're going to check here is just to see if it remembers who I am. You mentioned earlier that your name is Ian. Great. So we have our short-term memory. We can have our continued conversation. It remembers information about who we are. And now it has additional information about today's date and our location. So you can play around with this, ask it all kinds of questions that are relevant to the information that you've provided it and see if it can give you accurate answers back. But what I would encourage you to do is think of different input variables that you can add to your prompt, then go edit your prompt over in prompt layer, add those variables, come back and just do what we did here and dynamically inject that information into your chatbot and see how powerful you can make it. If you come up with anything cool, let us know in the comments below. And in the next video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some additional functionality. We're gonna give our chatbot some uh, math superpowers. We're gonna give it a calculator so we can ask it all kinds of crazy math questions and it's gonna give us accurate math answers back. So until next time, thanks a lot for watching this video and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.